See, I'm okay with rejection. Rejection does not faze me in the least. In fact, I implore you to be rejected. If you learn how to be rejected, you learn how to succeed. Just because they say no doesn't mean they don't like you. It means that at this time, they're not the right fit for you. And that's okay, because there's lots of people out there. Can I show you some magic? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah? yeah Watch this. Born and raised in Los Angeles, California. When I was five years old, I saw this magician, and he did something incredible. I looked at it, and I, I just thought to myself, wow, how in the world did he do that? I thought it was beyond explanation. And when I saw that, I had to figure out how to do it. Every single day I said, I'm gonna be a magician. I'm a magician. I'm gonna be a magician. I'm gonna be a magician. And then people started calling me a magician. And I just happened to become one. See, bendable chips, they drop down, right? Gravity. Magic drops it up. <laughs> Watch, look, hold on to it. Cool. What we're gonna do is change it. We're gonna we're gonna alter the state, okay? Just like this. Watch. Watch. The motivation behind magic for me right now is basically creating something that no one's seen before, giving the audience an inspirational feel to take to the next level, to make themselves believe that they can achieve anything. I'm on stage and I'm interacting with the audience and that feeling, the magic happens when people go, oh, it's that awe feeling. I can make people smile, I can make people enthralled and believe in just a little bit of magic. Your career and your world and your work, your art, can transcend into something so beautiful and so amazing that basically people will run and knock on your door. The magic of life is truly out there. I really believe in manifesting your destiny. You know, I didn't, I wasn't born a magician. I, I became a magician. <laughs>